This video will talk about DIR command. No, I'm not here to teach you about all the DOS commands and how to use them and what the command line parameters are. I'm here to show you a specific command and how it can help you get out of a difficult situation if you're ever faced with one. So normally you'd say, why would I need to learn DOS commands? I got my tools, I got my smart DIR command, I got all my dirt list making tools and so on. What if you're not on your computer? What if you were sent to a, another server room where you're working on a Windows server that has nothing installed? Or maybe you're sent to a client in a hotel room who's got a laptop that you need to get a directory list of his My Documents folder and the keyboard so greasy you don't want to touch it and the breadcrumbs or if you're using client's computer and you're not able to install any software. So like I said, the common scenario would be if somebody gives you a thumb drive or you access somebody's computer and questions ask, what's there? What files are on that computer? What files are in that folder? What you need to do is make a quick list of files and get them to whoever asked you that question. Let's see how we can do that. So we're not gonna navigate through different Windows menus. We're just gonna go Windows R we're going to type CMD and press enter. That will take us to a command prompt. Here, this is where you could run all your DOS commands. The command we're after is DIR. If I type it, I see a list of different directories. If I want to change the directory, I type CD and directory name. On the bottom, it tells you I'm in a different directory. I type DIR again, I see different folders. To back out of the folder, CD dot dot takes me back. All right, well, this is not the folder we're looking for. What we're interested in is data on a Z drive on this computer. I'm gonna type Z colon, press enter. Now I'm on a Z drive. Type DIR, this is, the, this is the directory that exists there. So, I don't wanna look at this one directory. I need to see everything that's on it. Well, let's do DIR slash S. And now if you're in the movie, this looks really cool. But we're in the real world and we have no use for this. What we need to do is we need to uh, make sense of this information. So what we have here is a Z drive with lots of PST files. And what the client's asking, what are the PST files that are stored here? So let's change our command. Let's say I want all the PST files. So I type star.pst. Star means I want all the files with any name there is and extension of .pst. We'll go slash s because we want to go into all the subfolders and we're gonna type slash B so we could get a proper list of files. Now that's looking much better. Now this is a list we can work with. However, it's on a screen, so not much you can do with it. So we'll need to save it to a file. Press up on the keyboard. We'll use um, a greater than symbol, which is a redirect symbol. So now we can redirect this list into a file list.txt. Press enter. Nothing happens. Well, this directory list just got output to a text file instead of your screen. Let's see how it looks. We go to our Z drive. And there is a file list, right? This is good. Now you can send this by email to whoever needs it. But let's make it a little better. Let's make it look nice. We'll go to Excel. Press Control O to open files. And we're going to browse to our Z drive, choose all files, grab file list. We'll go with delimited, don't select fixed width. We'll select tab, which is perfect because there are no tabs here. So this file will not be delimited at all. Click finish. And now we can add some rows, file path, copy, comments. And now whoever you're going to send this file to, is going to go through and they're going to mark, okay, I'm interested in this file, this file, that file, and maybe they're going to make some um, comments here, like important and so on. So now we got a nice file list created. We can send it off to an attorney or whoever asked for this. They can work with it and return to you if they need to. And before you get all angry with me, this is not a forensically sound process of working with files. This is just to help you get out of the situation you've been put in. Somebody says, go get this done. This is how you can get it done. We're not talking about chain of custody, forensic preservation, date and time, stamp capturing, none of that. What we're trying to do 
make a list of files. You've been asked to do it, get it done. And in the next video, we're gonna see how we can take all the documents tagged with Y, make a batch file, and copy them out to a different location.